Well, Julie Pettit always knew she wanted to work in sports, but she never imagined she would end up being the general manager of a team. Well, that day came in March of 2021, and now she's using her position to empower and train other women coming up in the sports industry. For Barnstormers general manager Julie Pettit, it's all about creating a fun experience. And it can get very chaotic and stressful, but then when we get to see the results at the end of the game, that's what it's all about for us. You could say being a sports executive is in Julie's blood. She watched her father John work as one her whole life. Then in 2014, she got the opportunity to work alongside him for the Iowa Barnstormers as the marketing and social media coordinator. John was vice president and chief operating officer. I don't think growing up I necessarily planned to follow in his footsteps. It just kind of happened. Uh, and then the opportunity when I got out of college to work for the Barnstormers came up, which meant I was going to be working for my dad. Um, and I, I took it and it kind of just, you know, from there I took on a lot of different uh, positions. Over time, she began to take on more responsibility, overseeing everything from football operations to sales. This experience put her on the path to becoming general manager after her dad passed away. It was very important to me to continue to run this team the way that he did. I know what was important to him. I know what his values were in running this team and running this staff. Uh, and I really wanted to stay true to that, but put my twist on it. Her rise to the top of the ranks hasn't come without its challenges. Being a woman in a male-dominated industry has caused some pushback. But Julie doesn't let it face her. In fact, she's using her position to support other women in the industry. A big thing that I wanted to do stepping into this role as a woman was make sure that I am also encouraging other women to follow me into the sports world. Um, we have a lot of strong women, you know, in this organization and, and kind of train them up the way that I was. Julie has big goals for the organization, and she's looking to create her own legacy in the process. Well, you got to love that, you know, following in the footsteps of her, of her father. And one thing that uh, really stuck out in our interview was she was saying she had so much support from him and so many people showed her the way and she wants to kind of pay that forward, um, especially to other women in this industry. Showing everybody that if, if there's a will, there's a way. Girls, pay attention to